This lesson will be the last one about the meanings of genitive. I decided to skip uh, several meanings because they are becoming boring. And actually, I imagined myself in your position that you actually cannot really relate to them. So it's better for us to be more practical and to see them in, uh, in the use, basically uh, having more exercises and uh, having something that we can already uh, start using in, uh, in conversations. But one last meaning I really want to touch because we already touched it at some point is uh, the numbers. So basically how to connect numbers and um, a particular number. So do you remember in the section where we learned numbers and ordinal numbers, we were having a trouble uh, because numbers from 5 till 20 and later from 25 till 30 and so on. So 75 till 80, for example, and etc. etc. Uh, we were having a trouble that uh, the noun was changing if it was uh, going after 5, after 6, after 7, after 75. So what was going on there? Basically, the rule says after the numbers 5 to 20, 25 to 30, or for example, 125 till 130, we need to use genitive of a noun. Why? Don't really ask me. This is the way Russians were using it for ages and uh, now we still uh, keep it this way. So, for example, 4 months, 4 months, but 5 months, 5 months. Четыре месяца, месяца, four months, but пять месяцев, пять месяцев, пять месяцев, три минуты, три минуты, ми, ну but 6 minut 6 minut mi nut 2 часа 2 часа but 8 часов Восемь часов. Часов. So, now you got the explanation why it is so weird uh, with the Russian numbers. However, it wasn't that difficult. Do you remember the numbers? Uh, we got it quite... <laughs> we went quite easily through them. Now you got a small explanation about the grammatic. What is, uh, what is behind it? Basically, once you, once you know, once you use it once, uh, you understand it well after from 5 till 20 we just need to use the genitive of the noun so 4 месяца but 5 месяцев we got a plural and genitive here 3 минуты but 6 минут so here we got genitive genitive and genitive and now since you know this rule I would suggest to you go back to the numbers, to the section of numbers on the Russian online university, uh, grammatic A1 and A2, and go through the lesson again, through the lesson with the exercises, because this is where we actually exercise the genitive connected with the numbers.